Okay, cool. So let's talk about a real device test then. Uh, that's here in this module. And we're going to be opening our application. Given I open that iOS application, then I should see this Wild Labs login page. If we navigate to these definitions, uh, the setup is kind of different because it has to use Appium. So you guys can see here, here's the important capabilities. Appium version is not required, but it's recommended to set uh, to the latest one, just to make sure you do have the latest one. Um, then we're setting a platform version. Here we're setting a device name. So because this is gonna run on a real device, you have to say which device you want to run on, right? So iPhone 11 Pro Max, Samsung Galaxy, and so on and so forth. Um, and then what else? This and this part is really important as well. This is the capabilities of your application. So this is saying on which mobile application do you want to run on? And so you're just going to set its file name based on the name of the file that you uploaded, right? So how we figure that out basically is when we're here and we go to mobile app and you're uploading your app. Here, I'll show you guys an example. Yeah, so if you uploaded it, you would get grab this name and then that would be the name that you set here. Okay, so then that's how Sauce Labs will know that you're talking about that mobile app instead of some other mobile app. And then of course, you're, here we're using an iOS, so starting up a new iOS driver, uh, passing in username and access key, hitting the hub URL, and then afterwards just interacting with our mobile application like normal. I ran some tests before this session. I can show you guys how those look. Uh, those will also be available in test results. So here we have, again, our automated results. Before I showed you all a virtual web tests, which you all can see here, here are the real device automated tests. They go in a different place. And so here's one that I ran um, a little bit before our session. That was that test that I showed you all. And here you can see that it's going to be on a, a real device using iOS. And here you can see a real device opening up. Um, and then here's our application. And all this test does is actually just make sure that our application opens and that's really it. Um, not much different, but you guys can see that it is on a real device. Um, this will also have Appium logs as opposed to Selenium logs. And then it will have metadata just like normal, uh, just like as before. So here we're doing an iOS test, right? So my, so you can see we're starting up an iOS driver. So that's number one on, on real devices. We're going to do either iOS driver or Android driver. And actually I can show you guys an example of that. So here I'll have for iOS, you can see we're specifying our device name, which is, will also be different for iOS versus Android, right? Because Android has like, Samsung Galaxy while iOS only has iPhones and iPads and stuff like that. So that will be different and the driver will be different. And for Android, for Android, it will be the appropriate Android device name and then it'll just be Android driver. So Android driver that you'll specify. And that's it. Those are the two main differences. The remote web driver is for web. So web automation will go through a remote web driver and that is what you saw here. This is a remote web driver only for web automation. So if you're running in a browser and then iOS and Android are for native mobile apps. So if you guys have a Synchrony native mobile app or actually even if you want to run a browser inside of a native, native uh, device like iOS or Android, you'll need iOS and Android drivers as well. With public devices, keep in mind, we don't only have one of each, we have many of each, but it is possible that some of the most popular ones might be occupied. If you want, for example, to run on, let's say iOS with a platform version this, you can just set this to star, and then it'll run on any device that matches this configuration. Or if you wanted to do something like just iPhone 11, it doesn't matter whether it's Pro or whether it's iPhone 11, you can do like iPhone 11.star 
And then that will find any iPhone 11 that matches this platform and version.